What do you mean? It looks so good. Oh, I'm definitely crying tonight. Do you see this? It's beautiful. Am I gonna embarrass myself? Probably, but could have been worse. Could have been worse. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I did a video a while ago where we built a makeup kit from scratch together and I was telling you all the things that I would buy if I was building a makeup kit from scratch but today we're gonna do something slightly different because I'm actually building a makeup kit from scratch it was my birthday two weeks ago and I was thinking that it would be nice to have a makeup kit that I can show you guys so you know for sure that I bought those products and I picked them myself and nobody's paying me so I finally got my package this one is from Space and K. This time I treated myself and I got myself a whole makeup kit. So I wanted to show you what I got and, and I was thinking we can test the things together because I haven't opened it yet. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I opened the lip pencil but I was excited. I was excited. It was expensive. Makeup is so expensive. So this is what it looks like. I kind of opened it to make it easier for myself but you, you get the idea. And just a disclaimer, nobody sponsored me for this video. All of this I bought myself, so let's begin. So the first thing that I got, I, I, I was definitely influenced by TikTok and by this one creator in particular. I'm gonna put her name here. I don't wanna butcher her name, but I love her videos and I love her skin. Her skin is just flawless. So the first thing that I got was glycolic acid from Ordinary. I know that they have two bottles, one smaller and one bigger. So I got the smaller version just so I can test it and so I can see if it works for me because I feel like in my case, especially if I don't like it, it will be a waste to get a big bottle so let's see if my skin likes it Like this is the first thing that I got I was literally watching one of her videos I saw it on her video and I was like that's a no-brainer, I'm getting it yeah, it wasn't that expensive, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a try so the second thing that I saw in her video was this Paula's Choice exfoliant oh, let me show you You've probably seen it all over TikTok and Instagram because it's it's going viral right now too. So let's see. Because I will commit and I will use them every single day. I will I will double check the way she uses them in the video, but I will I'll commit and I'll be using them for a month. So let's see if they actually work. Because lately I've been noticing more texture in my skin, so I'm hoping it will help. But I'll keep you updated. And I think that's it with the skincare because I, I have quite a lot of skincare, especially moisturizers because I've been buying lots of moisturizers lately. These two things are what was missing from my skincare routine. So let's see if they work. So since I was building my makeup kit from scratch, I needed a skin tint or a foundation. So I got this Hourglass skin tint and I'm not gonna lie, I was using their, their website, Big The Right Skin Tone, and I think, I think I picked the wrong one. And it's expensive, so if, if it actually doesn't match my skin tone, I will cry. But I heard so much good stuff about the skin tint that I really wanted to try it. And since it was my birthday, I got it. But I swear to God, if, if my Purito BB cream is better and is a better match, I will cry. Their packaging looks so good. It's it's like all of their products look so luxurious. I just wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to feel like a person who uses them. So fake it till you make it. Okay, let's see. I got shade number five. It does look like my skin tone, but let's actually see. Oh, I'm definitely crying tonight. Okay. Okay, let's, let's not panic. There is no need to panic yet. Yet. Let's just quickly compare it to my Torigo baby cream. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely darker. Okay, so this one is Purito and this one is Hourglass. But let's see, let's see. I am being very hopeful. So, let's see, let's see, it's going to be summer, I'm gonna get it done, let's make it work, right? I mean, it's not that bad, and it smells nice, yeah, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I think I like it. Let's see, I'm gonna make a video where I, I do like a whole face video with this one, like no makeup makeup look, but so far I like it, It's it has a very nice radiant finish. 
I would probably pick a lighter tone next time. But actually, let's see, because it's it's going to be summer and um, my skin is probably going to go one at least one tone darker, so... Hopefully, I will make it work. So that's the skin tint that I chose, it's the Hourglass Skin Tint in shade 5. So be careful with their skin tone matching software. I even went on TikTok and I checked like a couple of creators to see if they, if they have similar products to me. And one of them had a Purito BB Cream of my shade and she still got the Hourglass one number 5. I don't know. I don't know. I guess you actually gonna go and try them in store first. Which could have been a smart move, now that I'm thinking about it. Moving on to the next thing that I got. This is my first product from Rare Beauty, so I'm so excited to try it. I got their setting powder. I got it in shade light. Their packaging is so cute. Like, look. It's so nice and pink. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. I'm so excited to try it, but how do you open it? Oh, so you twist this thing, and that's where it is. Okay, there's a sticker, a normal sticker. Hmm. Oh, it smells nice. How, how am I supposed to even do that? Like, what's, what's the technology? What are the steps? Am I gonna embarrass myself? Probably, but... Could've been worse. Could've been worse. I definitely overdid it. But I have just a little bit here, so I can test it. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. Oh yeah, I can definitely see myself using it every single day. And this is great because this... Uh, how do I put it back? Okay, that's a problem for another day. It's better matched than the one I was using before because that one was very pale. And in my videos it looked good, but maybe in real life I'll prefer something more tinted. So I'm very excited. Now moving on to something I was very excited about is this blush. Again, it's Rare Beauty. You're gonna see lots of products from Rare Beauty because I was so excited to try them out. I, I saw them all over the internet and, and they look so nice, so I just couldn't stop myself. So I got their liquid blush in color Hope, but I got the mini version. The reason why I got a mini version because I know that they're very pigmented and you don't really need much, and I wasn't sure about the color. So if I like this color, perfect, I'll buy a big one. But if I don't, I will try the happy one because I saw a comment on my Instagram that the happy one is very nice. So I'm, I'm kind of curious. But look how cute it is and it's so small. Oh, Maybe I'll get another small one because this one looks so cute. Oops. So cute. I know this one is very pigmented so I'm gonna put it on my hand first. Don't let this little dot deceive you, because it's very pigmented. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend it with my finger. Look at this. This could have been my cheek, but no. Smart. Okay, I'm gonna blend it with my finger and I'm just gonna gently tap it. Oh, it's beautiful. Maybe I did pick the right color. Oh, I'm a huge fan. What do you mean? What do you mean? It looks so good. But again, that's a little dot. Like, it will take me at least a year to finish this product. Okay, this one, 10 out of 10. I, I will be buying another one. So far, I love Rare Beauty. Okay, for the next product, I'll have to use my hair clips. Yes, as you probably have guessed it, we kind of try bronzer stick. Again, this one is from Rare Beauty. This is not sponsored, I swear. I just, I went on the website and I saw all the cute products that they had and their packaging, and I fell in love. Look at this. How cute this is. And everything's pink. 
I like the way they put their logo, it's like not too too much, it's like very subtle. I love it. Because I was blindly ordering this one, I didn't know about the color. But let's see, let's see. I am hopeful, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never used cream bronzer stick before, so so this might not go well, but we're staying optimistic and hopeful. You gotta believe in yourself, you know? It's okay, it's just the first time. Oh, I, th I think I like it. That's a good color match. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. And I have a huge forehead, so I'm gonna put it here. We can work with that. Doesn't smell like anything. And that's a good thing. That's, that's a very good thing. Okay, I'm just gonna try and blend it quickly. I think I'll have to buy a more firm brush for this. What do you mean? What do you mean? It looks so good. What was I waiting for all these years? I should've just bought it before, when I saw it the first time. This one? 10 out of 10. Look! And I did a pretty good job matching the color, so I'm very happy. Our next thing will be the slip liner. Again, Rare Beauty. For the rest of the review, it's gonna be just Rare Beauty. It's gonna be a makeup of Rare Beauty and one hourglass content. That could have been a Rare Beauty foundation, so keep, keep an eye on me. Maybe, maybe it will be soon. Okay, so I got this Rare Beauty lip pencil in shade Wise. I love the name of their shades. They're always so encouraging and supportive. I love it. I used to have a lip pencil and that one I had to sharpen with a sharpener like a real pencil so the pieces of the wood would like always irritate my skin and this one you can just adjust it like this. Beautiful. So let's see. I like it so much. It's so smooth and it's so easy to use. <sighs> this whole video is just a huge ad for Rare Beauty, I swear. Okay, let me blend it a bit. Yep, I'm in love. I love it. So you will see this lip pencil in my makeup kit until they stop releasing them. But seriously, I love the pencil. I thought it would be a bit too dark because it's kind of like brownish color, but I, I really like it. It matches my lips perfectly. 10 out of 10. Next. For the same reason that I got the lip pencil, I also got myself a longwear gel eyeliner. It's also from Rare Beauty. And the same thing. You can adjust it here, I believe. Yeah, you can adjust it there. And you won't get any pieces of the wood in my eye that I'm always so scared of because I've heard those awful stories so this one will be nice and soft but let's test it I barely touched my skin I barely touched it like, look, I'm gonna caress oh my god, this is insane this is actually insane that's it, I'm, I'm obsessed with rare beauty this will be a channel dedicated to rare beauty from now on this is embarrassing. I want so much, but I'm so obsessed. Like, look at this. Look at how pigmented their blush is. Look at their eyeliner. What do you mean? And now one thing that is more on the side of the impulsive buys, but I needed it because I was building the whole makeup kit from scratch. So I needed a palette. The packaging, amazing. Love it. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's so pretty. Why is everything so pretty? I mean, I'm not complaining, but look at this. How pretty is it? And let's look at the inside, because that's that's what made me buy it instantly. Do you see this? It's beautiful. Let's try the middle one. Do you see how pigmented it is? Okay. Let's try another one. 
I will probably be using this one the most, so I'm obsessed. Look, each one of them is so pigmented, especially this one. What is going on? This is crazy. Should I try them? Okay, let's try. Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's try another one. And I barely touched them. Okay, should I try this one? This is gonna make me look slightly crazy. But... Oh my god. I mean, I don't need to say anything else. It's just, it's beautiful. That's all I needed in my life. Okay, so I'm actually recording this part in another day because I completely forgot to show you the most important thing that I got. And this is the mascara. It's a Rare Beauty mascara, but the mini version of it. Because I love mascaras with this type of brush. Here you can see it. Like, it's fluffy and it's perfect for application. And all of my favorite mascaras have the same brush. So here. I'm already wearing it, but I'm gonna apply it on top so you can see. And this one is so cute. Like, you can just put it in your bag and take it with you to Pilates or anywhere you want to go. It's so cute and it's pink. Anyways, I'm obsessed with this mascara, so 10 out of 10. Okay, so that's all I got from Space and K. I hope you enjoyed my little makeup haul because I really enjoyed it. So I'll link all the products in the description if you want to check them out. And I hope to see you again. Bye.